What's up guys, welcome back to the first video of 2024 and it's pretty exciting because we're talking about the firmware update for the Nucleus Nano 2 from Tilta. Okay, if you haven't seen anything about this new update, it's pretty cool. They fixed some bugs, they added support for the Blackmagic iPhone app, but the real thing that is amazing about this update is they added camera control for the Red Komodo. Now, it's still in beta, and it is acting like it's still in beta. It does work, and it can control the camera. There's a few little glitches and weirdness with it. Sometimes it won't connect all the way, but it does work. And why this is really exciting is because it means that they're really working on improving this unit to work with loads of different cameras out there to make it kind of the best fizz on the market. Normally you have this screen and that lets you control your zoom and focus. But if you wanna control the camera, it's a simple swipe over and now you have your camera settings here. So we have your iris, which you can't control because this is a cinema lens, but if you had a photo lens, it would work. Your ISO, your shutter, your white balance, things like that. Now it's as simple as just tapping on whatever you wanna change, ISO, holding the zoom rocker and it changes. That is one thing I kind of wish it was different. I wish it wasn't on the zoom rocker. I wish it was on the focus knob. Um, also the focus don't work when you're in this window. You have to swipe over to the focus window to regain focus control. That's one of the major, major bummers I've found with this unit is you can't even go into a menu and control the focus. It is it's gone. You have to go back to the home to control the focus. That's quite annoying. I wish that they would fix that. But the fact that you can control your camera and why this is a big deal for me is usually if I'm running a rig like this, it's on a cable cam or a remote dolly, somewhere where I can't get to it or I don't want to walk all the way over there to get to it. And yes, with the Komodo, you can pull out your phone and use the camera app, but if I'm already having to use this for my zoom and focus, the ability to just swipe over, change the setting and swipe back or even start stop record, is a big, big deal. It's just really showing that, yes, Tilta is working on better functionality for this unit. I've had a few difficulties with the unit, but I've been talking to Tilta about it and the firmware updates are getting better and better. So I have high hopes for this unit. These motors are solid and fast. The fact that you have a speed knob now for the zoom rocker is a big, big deal. I think in the end, it's going to be a fantastic product and I think Tilt is proving that by putting the camera control, especially for Komodo, in the unit. What do you think about Tilt adding camera control to this unit? It's been talked about since the beginning, but the fact that they're finally doing it, I think is a really big deal and we're just gonna see more and more cameras added to this unit and it's gonna get better and better as time goes on. So I'm super stoked to keep testing and using this product out in the wild. If you'd like to see a full review of me talking about this unit, using it the past couple months with rigs like this, drop a comment down below. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments. Tell me what you think. Welcome to 2024 and I'll see you in the next video.